Hello, welcome to Screen Talk with yours truly, Nam Fanella Malloy. So today I want to share my thoughts on this article that was published on Variety. So I saw this article uh, yesterday when I was on X, formerly Twitter, where it the author talks about um, cinema, particularly um, people that attend cinema. So um, Owen Gleiberman, that's his name, he tells this article, well, the people who say they love cinema the most come back to the movies. The summer blockbuster season proved that the movie audience is still very much there, but where have all the cinema lovers gone? So the first thought that I had it, with this, just based off the title alone, is that the cinema lovers, people that really, really love uh, seeing movies in theaters, they'll always show up to the theaters no matter what. Um, I used to be that person where I would pretty much almost every week see a movie in theaters. I think as I've gotten older, like I've become more uh, selective and all that, but I'll still see a movie that I really want to see in theaters and all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, I don't think they've left per se. Um, they'll still show up though, but, but let's just see what he says here. Uh, the summer se the summer movie season is uh, almost over. Um, da, 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 da. To recap, and then talks about the hits of the summer, like Deadpool, Inside Out 2, and so forth. And he says, yeah, people still like to go to the movies. That's true. But the essentially says the box office numbers uh, were down compared to last year. Uh, he mentioned the impact of the strike still registered this summer in a profound way. I'm not too sure about the strike myself. Sure, I think maybe the strike could have impacted the amount of movies that's coming out. Uh, but in terms of of it being a factor on why numbers are down, I, I don't buy that. But let's just uh, go on what he says here. Um, he says, if you stand back and look at the great big pie chart of movie going, there's still a major piece missing. Uh, back in the 90s, when the blockbuster age was in full swing with the independent film revolution happening right alongside it, I knew who I was rooting for on a weekly basis. I'll confess that sometimes thought of popcorn movie audiences as bad guys and the audiences for adventurous indie and foreign films as the good guys. The bad guys kept the engine of escapism wearing, but the good guys helped to sustain cinema as an art form. That may sound snobby or unfair, but it's how I thought of it, which I thought was kind of weird because, um, yeah, it's just weird to say that people that see the mainstream movies, essentially bad guys, and then the, those that see art house, indie, foreign stuff, good guys, that, that's just a weird thought for me, but let's see what he has to say here. What I would never have expected to see is that formulation turn on its head. Okay. And then talks about uh, people showing up for In Inside Out and the latest Planet of the Apes movie and mentions they're the ones who are keeping cinema or at least some version of it alive. But he's like, what about the good guys? Have they all gone away? No, but they become the bad guys because they're the ones who are staying home. <coughs> okay. And then he goes on to say, oh, it's streaming. Uh, essentially, like, uh, because of streaming is why people are staying at home. Uh, yada, yada. And then uh, talks about with the fall season approaching, war season, essentially... Uh, yeah, 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 da, da, da. goes on and on and on. So, yeah, there's this. <laughs> I I don't know if I agree with all of the author's points here. Um, like I don't think the main thing is I don't think people that love movies stay home. 
I think people will still show up to the theaters no matter what and all that stuff. Um, but I don't think, yeah, people have left. Um, I think for me, it boils down to we need to look at the movies uh, themselves because I think recent years have made it more apparent that movies that are put in theaters are meant to be events, spectacles, um, a lot of uh, movies based off existing IP or any like recognizable uh, titles and all that stuff, which um, sure, like in a way, if, if that existing fan base can draw huge numbers and all that stuff, but at the same time, you're kind of uh, limiting uh, options for people because I think really there is a lack of um, variety missing in terms of movies being put on theaters because as like the person mentioned, like with the nineties having a lot of the blockbusters and indies and all that stuff, like we we always used to get, Oh, like uh, the rom-coms and like the political thrillers the comedies and so forth. So essentially there's, there's like at least a movie in theaters that's going to appeal to certain people. So I think there needs to be more variety of movies being put in theaters than just having certain movies being put in theaters, because if you have something for everyone, it could influence people to show up at the theaters and and everyone can win. The theater owners will at least make more profit while um, the audience will be happy to see the, the movie of their choice. And in a way, uh, the industry will win because it show, it'll show that uh, if the demand is there, that people want to see more of those types of movies and all that stuff. So, yeah, I think really boils down to the the movie the movies themselves are being put in theaters um also too we have to look at um the theatrical window because before uh you have a wider theatrical window um where essentially you would be able to see a movie at home within a matter of months some sometimes over a year depending on the movie but now, like especially uh, since pandemic, the theatrical window has shrunken where a movie would essentially be put at home, either VOD, physical media or whatever, within a matter of weeks. In some cases, days. Like I just saw earlier today that with the Borderlands movie, that's going to be put out on demand, I believe, the end of August. And, and yeah, like we see that titles that I guess don't do well are being put on demand quicker, like usually two to three weeks, a give or take. So I think we need to um, widen the theatrical window. It doesn't have to be drastic, but essentially like if a movie is performing well, keep it longer in theaters. Um, but if let's say a movie is not doing well, maybe don't put it on demand right away, at least give it maybe no more than a month uh, to breathe and all that stuff. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, we need to see more variety of movies. So let me just stop sharing the screen. So while I was, uh, Reading this article, I came across another article that I will share with you, uh, where Brian Cox has said that cinema today is in a bad shape and pretty much cites uh, the movies such as those in the MCU and all that stuff. Um, essentially says, oh, they go down that road and it's box office to make a lot of money. You can't knock it. Um, da, 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 da. so he was at the Edinburgh International Film Festival and then he talked essentially was saying that with 
movies that um, came that were made long time ago, they're essentially being implemented more on TV. And I think, yeah, people refer to TV these days. I don't know about right now, but but the sentiment was that TV is living its golden era, essentially, because of the the variety of shows and all that stuff. While like with movies are being very more selective and focusing more on those that'll make profit per se. So I think that's pretty much the crux of uh, Brian Cox's argument in this article. That's from what I took away from this. I'll, I'll leave the link to this article and the variety article in the description. So there's that. Um, so let's talk about um, theaters. So I think theaters, they need to improve their um, experience, essentially, because um, I think one of the main reasons why people would choose to watch movies at home is because the prices are too expensive. I mean, always like for quite some time, you, you pay, <laughs> you pay uh, premium prices just to eat food in the theaters and all that stuff. But as years go by, that it just become more apparent that it's getting more pricey. And especially like if you're not offering like variety of, of food, um, it, it's, it's probably going to drive people away to just, you know, they'd rather wait at home because it's cheaper and all that stuff. And the theaters too, they need to improve their customer uh, service. I never had uh, a bad customer experience when I was um, in the theaters myself, but you do hear stories um, of uh, some customers being mistreated by employees for whatever reason. So that needs to improve. Also to um, the audience behavior needs to improve. Um, because especially I've seen since after pandemic, some people treat the movie theaters like it's their own living room where they'll just essentially be using beyond their phones. Often they'll be talking while the movie is playing and all that stuff. Yeah, I get that these existed um, before pandemic, but it just becomes more prevalent these days. And, and I find that with theaters, um, like they don't have like imp any employees to like look over the audience in the room. Like they'll just play the movie and then that's that. So it, cause uh, theaters, they, they need to improve on that. Cause I think if you, they improve the experience and all that stuff, at least people will show up to um, see the movie in theaters and all that stuff. And yeah, also to tech issues, they need to improve that as well too. Um, I saw a movie um, earlier this month, I think it was a trap movie. And I noticed that like one of the speakers just was not fully playing uh, properly. Um, it didn't happen during the movie, but that, but it was um, noticeable uh, during the previews and all that stuff. So yeah, I think, yeah, just, they need to fix those and um, also to, yeah, cleanliness. I should have mentioned this as part of customer experience. You need to just to make sure the theaters are clean, all this stuff. Cause at times when I've gone to theaters, it's, it's clear they didn't clean up the floors and all that stuff. So I think, yeah, just improve the experience all around. I'm sure people will show up and I was talking about this article with my brother yesterday and he pretty much suggested, oh, uh, there needs to be more options, have like a, a day and date release and all that stuff. I, I, I disagree with him because I don't see the studios uh, agreeing to that unless if it's for a smaller movie. Um, but uh, but I think like for in terms of day and date, um, have that for the smaller movies, essentially how they're doing it now for a lot of the indie movies, especially for those that are not widely accessible. I think, yeah, that would work. But in terms of the major movies, I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. But uh, 
Also, too, um, I saw that apparently Apple are changing their strategy where now they're going to uh, have a limited theatrical run for a week or two before putting it straight to streaming. Uh, they, did, they did that recently with the Wolves movie. That's the one with George Clooney and Brad Pitt, where it's going to be released for a week, I think limited theaters, and then... Uh, on Apple TV Plus the following week afterwards. So, yeah, it's a lot of uh, thoughts on this. But um, essentially, just to uh, summarize, um, people have not left. I think people just have gotten more selective, but they'll still show up to see the movies and all that stuff because I think it really boils down to, yeah, because marketing, if you don't market the movie well, people are not going to show up. And also, too, there needs to be more variety of counter programming because if you just put limited amounts or certain types of movies in theaters, it's only going to draw a certain crowd and all that stuff. And yeah, like just add more original movies, add more various stuff. And the theaters, they need to improve their experience all around. When it comes to um, the cleanliness, uh, improved food prices, and all that stuff, I mean, for me at least, like with Cineplex, they do have the Cine Club option where you could uh, get discounts on admission prices and all that stuff, which is nice. But um, but yeah, I think just improve the experience all around, and then hopefully people will just show up. So that's pretty much my thoughts on that. Um, what do you guys think about this issue? Do theaters need to improve? Should there be more variety of movies in theaters? Just let me know in the description. And I'll link the articles that I've mentioned previously in the description. So also too, uh, you could check out the links to my social media in the description. Also too, if you wanna support me, you can visit my Buy Me A Coffee link in the description. So I want to say thank you so much for tuning in and checking out this video. And I hope to catch you on the next one.